Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a preview to our Flyers trying to rebound from a putrid game last night against Tampa Bay, playing the even better in a lot of people's eyes and analysts' eyes this year that you listen around NHL, Sports Night, TSN, what have you, in the Florida Panthers tonight, so it ain't getting any easier. As Kyle Phillippe, who's a very good guy that used to work for NBC Sports, does a very good job on Twitter, said, Flyers have killed off 87.5% of penalties, giving them the third best PK unit in the Eastern Conference and eighth overall in the span since November 1st. So one side of their special teams has been adequate, and, and better than adequate, has been very good. But the other side, and the most important side to fixing um bad success at 5 on 5 is at least having a good power play, which is what kind of helped the Flyers during the Hartsey era when they had goal scoring droughts, and even during the Brain Shen era, who was always better on the power play than 5-on-5 five five during his time in Philly, they were able to kind of counterbalance the struggles they had in the goal scoring 5-on-5 five five output by being a better team and a net from presence team like Scott Hartnell called them out for not getting to the dirty areas enough and playing too soft this year. They were able to kind of grind out goals on the power play and figure out a will way mentality in the power play. That hasn't been the case. They're all the way down to 26 and only 15% practically, but 15.1.1 don't really mean anything. On the power play, where the uh, Florida Panthers are not as good as you would presume for being one of the league's best teams. They're down at 18th in the league on the power plays, you would presume a team to be better than that. On the penalty kill, the Flyers are a bit better than the Panthers. They're top 10 at 10th. The Panthers are 16th, and the Flyers are significantly better on the face-off dot. So realistically, that's the big key to this game. you got to win the possession numbers in order to beat the Florida Panthers down in Florida. And the Flyers, because they do have Claude Giroux, they do have Sean Couture. Obviously, G don't play center anymore but he does consistently, but he does slide over to take face-off. Um, you can win the game just via being able to possess the puck more and just generate the dirty but good chances like I think Scott Hartner was getting at when he called the team soft and saying they're not getting to the boards and doing the same thing. Wilman did a very good job of that, and the Miners did a very good job of that in the two-game cup of coffee before getting sent back down, and then now since coming back up, he hasn't looked as squeaky clean out there like Lance Green said of Flyers into Gritty. He's been fluttering pucks some, but he's also looked good at times as well, and he's a guy that's still developing into the league as a guy that's worked his behind off as a doubted guy his entire career to get to the ECHL, now to the AHL, and then up to the NHL, which is where he's at, of course, right now. So he's been honestly killing it and had a hell of a career for himself, just in retrospect of where he was only two and a half years ago, really, honestly. So um, Max Willman is killing it, doing his thing, but he hasn't been killing it yet in the NHL level. So if he can have play that more just kind of dirty but good game, get in front of the net like I've seen him do at times with the Phantoms and with the Royals and also play, obviously, at the speed he plays at, then that will help a lot in the Flyers' bottom six and fourth line. I saw some good out of him yesterday, just not consistent as I've uh, seen in all of his games, but he's still learning the NHL game and the speed of the NHL game and the speed of the passes and what have you. So he'll get there. Pat or, or Patrick, Zach McEwen. I was thinking of Patrick because Patrick Brown's still injured, but Zach McEwen was our best forward last night, and coming into tonight against a very good Panthers team, you're going to have to knock them off of their game, and guys like Van Riemsdyk into the dirty airs and McEwen will be able to do that, but more guys around them have to be able to step up and do it. It can't be a two-team and predominantly a one-team a one team forward fight, basically, to the net front, because G looks out in the first 20 of last night's tilt and then kind of wasn't really recognizable when McEwen was the best forward and JVR was present in front of the net some. The Flyers are going to need to be dirty but good to beat the Panthers and win the possession game, which they have a good chance of doing um, because when it comes to, obviously, the face-off dot, they're significantly better than the Florida Panthers, who are 30th all the way down doo-doo at the bottom of the league in that category. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Panthers had more face-off assets, just mix in players to fill their roster out, since that's really all they need. But for goals for the games played, the Panthers spanked the Flyers at 3.94 to 2.53 of our Philadelphia Flyers. And goals against games played is 5th for the Panthers, just 10th of our Flyers, so not too shabby for the Flyers' defense, which has been playing better this year, minus in the shutout against the Flames, and specifically really bad, other than one defensive line that played solid in the second yesterday, um, in yesterday's tilt against the Lightning. So the Flyers 
have to win the possession game. They have to do what Hartnell said and play a more aggressive game where Cousins' this team seeing a good four-trick game. We saw Knack play two years ago. Obviously, he's not still on the team, but I'm using it as an example to say with AV system, we saw them play more aggressive and more along the boards, not just dump and chase all the time two years ago. Last year, it was more how we're kind of seeing the offense get stagnant and get overcomplicate things or just oversimplify things, dumping and chasing or overcomplicating things by making an extra additional pass when they could have just made a play. The Flyers have to simplify things, win the possession game via the faceoff, since that's a significant category they're better in than the Florida Panthers. And even though the Florida Panthers' power play is ranked 18th, they still got dangerous catch on there. Not going to want to put them on the power play no matter how good your penalty kill is performing. And you have to get those dirty but good goals. Bob is back to being Vezina Calibre this year. He hasn't been as good with the Panthers as he was with the um, Blue Jackets. But he now is back to being Vezina Calibre again and already has a couple of those things in his career. So, obviously, Sergei Bobrovsky is a guy to be reckoned with as well is our Carter Hart. So this is going to be a great goaltender matchup, but you're not going to score on the Panthers or Bob unless if you get to the dirty areas and get some dirty but good goals. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the Sports Saturday News preview to the Philadelphia Flyers versus Florida Panthers. It ain't going to be easy tonight, but not many games are at the NHL level. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe if you enjoy the content up above or down below at the easy-to-use subscribe button as well. Let's go, Flyers. Let's show the Panthers that we mean business.